Alrighty guys, Jess Sunshine here. Welcome to what will be the introductory episode to a new series for the channel. As you can see, we're in GTA 5, but we are actually in a, a new GTA RP community that I joined. So, a bit of a disclaimer before we get into the nitty gritty of the episode. This is not DOJ RP. I know I've been talking a lot about DOJ RP, but media apps have not opened again for DOJ. I suspect they're going to open next month, but they haven't yet. And I joined this roleplay community after lurking in a Twitch stream that got promoted in one of the Discord servers that I'm in. And she's actually the uh, civilian director, so she's Civ 1 for Immersion RP, and she's also in DOJ. And a lot of people that are in DOJ... Have either moved to Immersion RP or have, uh, or are like dual claning in both DOJ and Immersion Roleplay. And fun fact, uh, the media ambassador for DOJ, CP Dude, is actually the community director for Immersion RP. So, bit of a fun fact there. And, uh, I joined this community mainly because it looked cool. It, uh, I like the, uh, more relaxed, relaxed, structured approach. That this community has and you can do there's a little a lot more freedom and stuff that you can do and uh, it's also really easy to apply and to get into media because i haven't even been in the community for a full week yet and they let me start making content and stuff which is why i'm here so i'm super excited to be here i'm not going to quit doj at all and i'm not and i'm still going to try to get into doj media and when I do get into DOJ Media, I'm not going to quit Immersion RP. I'm going to do both communities side by side. Uh, hopefully, my life doesn't get too uh, complicated. Uh, it's, it's that I have, that I can actually keep up both communities at once. Because, uh, obviously, I'm going to be off for four months for university stuff. But then, uh, in September, I'm going to start the next school year and all that so hopefully it doesn't get too uh too jam-packed and all that stuff but uh, i'll get there when i get there so immersion rp is definitely a smaller com a community it's a smaller upstart community doesn't not, not have does not have as many members as a lot of the big name stuff like no pixel or new day or boj obviously in comparison but it's uh, it's still a nice little community. Uh, I learned a lot of stuff within the first couple of days of talking to uh, a lot of the staff and training and Ray and all that. It's it's really uh, very uh, very chill compared to a lot of other communities you'll see. Obviously, there are still some rules and regulations and stuff you can't do. This is still a role play community. You got to keep it at least somewhat legit. But when it comes to contact levels and vehicle structures and weapon structures, it's very lenient. And, uh, honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do in this community, what my niche is going to be in this community. Because it's not as big as DOJ or something, so I can't rely as heavily on business roleplay as I do in DOJ to keep myself active and contributing. So I'm going to have to branch out a little bit, get out of my comfort zone, and do maybe some uh, more standard miscellaneous civ and criminal stuff. It's not that I don't do any of that in DOJ, it's just <clears throat> I don't have a lot of experience in doing so that I don't really do it a whole lot. Well, it's going to be interesting seeing how this new community goes. But uh, it's kind of like a halfway point between LSPDFR and DOJ in my eyes. LSPDFR is a sandbox, a free sandbox. It's a single player experience. You can do whatever you want in it. And it's it's yours to mold into your own, into your own, well, sandbox. But it's very buggy and unreliable. It can, and it can really get on your nerves. That's prevalent from my latest live stream where I did the unmarked Subaru game unit patrol. And the game and LSP4 kept crashing on me every 30 fucking minutes. That was not fun to deal with and definitely got on my nerves a little bit. DOJ is a multiplayer uh, 5M experience, obviously. It's very structured. Everything has a place and everything is in its place. But it can feel restrictive at times. Sometimes you want a little bit more freedom to uh, 
expand your horizons a little bit. And I understand why they have all of those rules and regulations in there, or else it would just evolve into Grand Theft Auto Online. Same, th same reason why Immersion RP still has some rules and regulations, so it doesn't evolve into GTA Online as well. But uh, sometimes you just want to you just want to go a little crazy and have a little fun without having to worry about the unreliableness of uh, of LSPDFR, and that's where immersion RP comes in. It's uh, a lot less structured. Well, it's still structured, but it's a lot more relaxed, is what I meant to say. And obviously, 5M has its own issues. 5M go, you know, servers go down. CAD system breaks, you know, you crash for other reasons, but it's not as prevalent as LSPDFR. And in DOJ, there's been a lot of issues with the EUP in DOJ with uh, 70, 70 plus people in server things start to break. So uh, it's not that 5M doesn't have any issues of its own. It's just that it's different and uh, different frequency and all that. I almost fucking died. Ow. I don't know how I did not die there, but we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna 20 do that. Ow oh, fucking Christ. Okay, sorry about the cut there, but as I was saying, the bugs aren't as frequent and it's just a different kettle of fish altogether when dealing with stuff in 5M, so. That's how that all goes down. But, uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how this community plays out. Everybody's been super welcoming and super helpful, and even though I'm playing 101 questions a lot of the time, they, uh, they're taking it uh, very seriously and helping me along the way. So the second half, or the rest of this episode is going to be character introductions. I do have a small handful of characters, not nearly as many as I do in DOJ, but I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a background, what their characters do, where they come from, and what you guys can expect from me as an immersion RP streamer and content creator. So let's go ahead and uh, jump right into that, shall we? Alrighty, so starting off the list today, we have my General LEO character, also known as my Department of Public Safety character, because the interesting thing with Immersion Roleplay is that instead of having separate uh, departments for each LEO department, everything's cobbled together into one. And you're allowed to patrol as any law enforcement agency that you want, Depending on the AOP, of course. Right, so if it, so if it's like a Sandy Stores and Surrounding Patrol, then you do like, you know, either Polito Bay, or not Polito Bay, Sandy Stores Police Department, Blaine County Sheriff's, or San Andreas Highway Patrol, etc., etc. So, I kind of, that's kind of a neat way to approach things, being able to uh, just play whatever you want in a uh, overarching department uh, covering everything instead of just having a department for each. So instead of like you have a main department, then you need like three reserves to have everything else. Just have everything one and night one neat little package, and that's kind of the relaxed structure that I was talking about during the introductory part of uh, this video. So this is my uh, this is my uh, Leo character. His name is uh, very uh, surprise surprise. His name's Jess on Strider. If I do slash me, you can see it right there. Uh, this is actually the only character that crosses over between Immersion and DOJ. Only because that I want my Elio character to be based off of me, I guess. I don't know. It's like my primary character and all that stuff. Which, uh, uh, in terms of, uh, like, uh, character death and stuff, I'm not afraid to permadeath characters if the situation would be realistically called for that. Uh, I may be a little bit uh, hesitant to uh, kill off my LEO character, considering that, you know, he's named after me and all that stuff. But if the situation calls for it, then I might just have to. But hopefully it doesn't come to that super early on. If that if that happens, then I don't know what the hell I'll uh, I'll do. Maybe I'll just start pulling characters off of LSPDFR and have, like, Jackson Shredder take over the reins of Elio and stuff. 
So uh, that is pretty much it for LEO, considering that it's all in a single department. As you can see, I got, you know, the duty belt and stuff, the uniform. Uh, the uniform still uses slash EUP. And I can just show them off here since I'm in an empty server and not really bugging anybody doing it. So we have the, uh, have the SAHP. I mean, there's different presets. I don't know what the rules are about using the polo or the t-shirt. I know the windbreakers are only during rain and snow. When snow's in server, I don't know about the polo and t-shirt. That may be like surgeons only or something. But I know I can use these three freely. The uh, the first three freely. And then same goes with the uh, police department. Probably use these three super freely. And then I don't know about these. Like obviously I can't use the supervisor ones because I'm not a fucking supervisor. But yeah, you got the blank County sheriffs, which I was, which I was using. Got all these fancy stuffs here. And then finally, uh, nope, that's it. Actually, that's I forgot. There's only three LEO departments. God damn it. So yeah, that is it for the law enforcement side and the first character. We can go ahead and move on to the next one. Oh, I guess one thing I should mention is that uh, my character does use the grooving walk style, just like in LSPD, if our, uh, that'd be, uh, I guess that's a thing to note. Probably not very important, but it is a thing to note. All right, so next on the list is Jesse Contra. Now, this was the character I was using during the introductory section of the video. And this is going to be my casual Civ character. So I'm not going to do any uh, la, 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 any crazy priority stuff. And uh, he was riding around in the Manchester. He does own a Manchester, but since you can't properly put a plate on it, I don't really bother trying to RP that I have a quote-unquote pocket plate or something. I just say that, yeah, that bike's unregistered and I normally stick it stick to just off-roading in the county with it whenever I do that. And this is a street vehicle. It's technically a Sand King 2, but it's been replaced with this uh, Chevy Silverado, a little bit lifted. And this is a street legal vehicle to be used during city patrols or anything like that. And as you can see, his outfit, he's a bit of an off-road enthusiast because of his outfit and stuff, or just bikes in general, but... Yeah, this is pretty much, like I said, this is just casual character, not going to do anything crazy if I'm just riding around, seeing what's going down, and this is the character that I'm using. If I don't really know what the hell I'm going to be doing, I'll generally just use this character. He uses the casual five walk style, which is like one of the only walk styles that I actually remember how to spell, so that's why he's using it. You know, I don't think it looks that bad. Definitely looks a little bit uh, over the top and swanky and all that stuff but hey you know what it's good to have a little bit of character so that's contra nothing really speckle about him just a uh just the dude with a uh, off-roading kink so uh there you go next character Alrighty, next character on the list is bobby saxon this is my homeless character whenever i want to do any light deviant rp without Doing super crazy priority or hardened criminal behavior. This is the character I will be using. Obviously, since he's homeless, he doesn't really have a lot to his name. He hasn't had a valid driver's license in 2018. And he lost his job during the COVID pandemic. And he just was not able to get himself back on his feet. No matter what he tried. So he just his life just kind of snowballed. Got worse and worse, and now he just kind of lives with the fact that he's just stuck like this, and he just he tries to mind his own business, living day by day. But uh, sometimes he does get himself into trouble. So small deviant RP scenes, the cap is that the type of stuff that Elio see regularly IRL. Those type of scenes I'll be using with Bobby. He only has this worn blue bicycle to his name this is like his only prized possession because it helps still get him around from place to place and uh he's basically just you know trying to just he's trying to stay out of people's business you know as long as people don't bug him he won't bug anybody else but sometimes he does get into trouble so there you go 
homeless deviant character. Alrighty, so next character on the list is Scarlet Hillcrest. This is going to be my no fucks given criminal character. If I ever want to do any priority situations or just, you know, be a menace to the police, then this is the character I'm going to use. Her background is pretty much she came from a wealthy family, which is why she's living up here in the uh, Richmond area, North Rockford Drive. She drives around in this big beefy Hummer, got the red purselette on there. I think it looks pretty badass and cool. She's got this big driveway all to herself. And she's just pretty much going to be a uh, entitled, hardened criminal bitch who doesn't like to put up with police. Maybe she will. Maybe she will put up with police, obviously, depending on if the priority is available or not, of course. And yeah, just being a general menace to police and actually trying to piss the police off whenever I want to do something like that. This is the character I will use. So there you go. Probably one of the more exciting characters, I suppose. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything with her. You know, nothing, nothing speckle or anything, anything out of the blue there. Well, minus her hair, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's just move on. Alrighty, next on the list of our wonderful characters here, we have Bruce Anderson, who, as you can see, is going to be my groupie six security character. I said in the introduction section that I don't know how much I'm going to be able to rely on uh, business RP or how much action I'm going to get while active as a business, but I still have a couple business characters just for shits and giggles to see what goes down and see what we can, can get into with them. Although a couple of civs have warned me that they sometimes target G6 officers just because they're G6 and nobody likes sick fucking mall cops or whatever and all that stereotypical shit. But uh, depending on what happens, maybe I won't patrol as a G6 that often just for fear of being targeted and all that stuff, I don't know. I guess we'll figure that out when we get there, but, uh, yes, G6 officer, he uses the janitor walk style, of course, because everybody likes making fun of the janitor walk style, so I use it just to spite them. <laughs> At least in DOJ, that's how it is. So, yeah, I mean, there's no real backstory because I, like I said, I fucking, I haven't even been in the community officially for like a week or something like that, so I haven't had a chance to build any story with these characters. So it'll be kind of interesting, at least. You guys will be able to see the stories as they unfold, at least. So that'd be uh, kind of neat. So yeah, G6. The vehicles definitely look a lot more elaborate than they do in DOJ. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the premise is still the same. Corporate security, it's whatever. It doesn't matter what the uniforms and the vehicles look like, so... Just uh, one or two more characters. I think it's just one, but uh, let's uh, let's get on with it. Alrighty, last but not least, we have Henry Jackson, and he is going to be my tow operator. So instead of Casey's Highway Clearance, it is actually Chiliad Towing and Repairs, but the premise is pretty much the same. We do tow truck stuff, roadside repairs, roadside assistance. We manage the... Uh, the repair shops and all that stuff and uh, we got these pretty neat looking uniforms and vehicles and it's kind of inter what's really interesting about this is that they actually have like a semi fucking proper looking fucking towing script because look at this look at this they actually have tow trucks with functioning tow beds this is fucking dope look at this oh my god this is this is actually fucking legit. Oh my god, when I did my in-game training for Chiliad Towing, my mind was fucking blown away with how, like, fucking detailed this tow script is. Like, this is fucking ridiculous, dude. And you're like, I don't have a vehicle to tow right now, but just the fact that the bed actually goes, like, up and down like that is fucking awesome. So, uh, yeah, I look forward to fucking using that in a live server, but, uh, yep. So, yeah, it's obviously a little bit different than uh, Casey's Highway Clearance in uh, DOJ, but you know what? It's actually pretty cool. I like it. I just uh, hope that I can get into, uh, just hope that the servers get popping enough that we can actually put this to good use, eh? 
Because uh, I did say that, you know, the servers in the community isn't as active as DOJ or any other community like that. So the chances of getting calls, at least for now, are, uh, I don't know. And uh, hopefully we can remedy that sometime in the future coming up. So uh, that's really all I have for you guys for the introductory episode. You know, all the characters, a bit of a spiel about the community and all that. And I look forward to uh, watching this community grow and thrive and all that stuff. And yes, as I said at the start, I'm still going to try to get DOJ media, alright? Ooh, fuck those air molecules, am I right? So hopefully you guys stick around and uh, watch an episode here or there. I know uh, GTA RP may not be everybody's cup of tea. But if you do stick around, think of uh, GTRP as just a more serious and structured version of LSPDFR with its own special, unique mousetraps you can find yourself in. So, uh, thank you all for watching this introductory episode to Emergent RP, and I hope to see you guys in the episodes to come. I'm out. Peace.